Hello and welcome back once again to product placement. So we're going to take a little bit of a break from the Coke products for a little bit, switch back over to the opposite side of the spectrum. So we're going to go back to Mountain Dew temporarily, then we'll go back to Coke and others, as well as some additional candies that I have stored up as well. So this next item, I wasn't sure if I was going to do or not because I'm not sure if it's the same flavor or a different flavor as a previous product I tried. So as I said back when I did the last Mountain Dew Kickstart, which was the original Dew flavor. I had mentioned that I skipped uh, Kickstart Ultra because it was just Diet Mountain Dew flavor and I'm not a fan of Diet Mountain Dew. Sometime after that, Mountain Dew Kickstart changed all their uh, labeling on their cans and discontinued some of their other flavors. Uh, this one is possibly a new flavor, but it might just be a rebranding of one they did before. So back when they did the second run of Kickstarts, they had the original ones had the little green flag on the side of the can, and then they did the ones that I called the Kickstart Knights because it had the black flag on the side of the can. And then when they did the coconut water ones, they did the ones with the white flag on the side. I'll put pictures up of each one as I'm talking about it so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. And one of the ones that came out around the same time as the three coconut water ones is they did a new one with the black flag and that one was called Midnight Grape. Since they've changed the labeling on their cans, Midnight Grape no longer exists, but now they do have just regular grape. So as you can see, it's in a whole new can design. There's no green flag, black flag, white flag anywhere on the can. And this one just says grape. It doesn't say Midnight Grape. But on the Wikipedia, it doesn't mention grape as a new flavor. Um, it still mentions Midnight Grape as a current running flavor even though it's not. So I don't know if this is the same as Midnight Grape or if this is a different grape variant. So I was hesitant as to whether or not to try this one or not because if it's just Midnight Grape then I've already done it. But we're going to try it anyway just because it says Grape. It might be slightly different. It's been a long time since I did the Midnight Grape so I can't even really remember what it tasted like. But we're going to try this one. I'm guessing it's going to taste like a Great Mountain Dew which I know there was a Great Mountain Dew or something that came out a while back. I can't remember the name of it. I want to say it was a Japanese exclusive or like a restaurant exclusive type of thing. But I didn't see it listed on Wikipedia anymore, so I don't remember 100%. I want to say it was something like Ultraviolet or something like that, or just Violet Mountain Dew, whatever it was. Uh, but like I said, I think it was a Japanese exclusive. So this might taste something like that. Or this might taste like um, Pitch Black, because Pitch Black was a grape-flavored Mountain Dew. Uh, the original one was just grape-flavored. Pitch Black 2 was a sour grape flavor. Uh, the return of Pitch Black that I did back in 2016, I think, was like a midway blend. It was still somewhat sour, but not as sour as I remember Pitch Black 2 originally being. So it was almost like a Pitch Black 3, where it was like a blend of the two. So for all I know, this tastes just like Pitch Black 1. Um, I think Pitch Black actually came back in 2019 again as well, but I missed that one. Anyway, Kickstart, great. Let's see if it's different than what I remember from Midnight Grape, which is absolutely nothing. Let's give it the little smell test. That has an odd scent to it. Like, I can kind of see where it smells somewhat like grape but not really I'm not getting like a grape smell like you would think of grape I'm getting more of like a Welcher's grape juice kind of smell with something else in it which this is kickstart does have like energy drink ingredients in it as well so it's possible that's what I'm smelling on top of the Welcher's grape juice but I can't be a hundred percent sure and the sun just set behind the clouds, so if it got really dark in here, I apologize. Um, I could turn on the light, but like I said last time, it was causing like streaking across the camera, so I'm trying to avoid that. So hopefully you guys can still see me. There's still enough light coming in. All right, so the only thing I can't determine if it actually smells like purple Welch's grape juice, like the, the dark grapes, or if it smells more like a white grape juice. There's definitely something, some other scent in there that's messing with the with my sense of the grape smell so i guess we have no other choice than to taste it and see what we think cheers
that's interesting. That doesn't taste like what I remember the Midnight Grape tasting like. I remember the Midnight Grape being a lot more grape centric, almost like it tasted more like pitch black. Uh, this, yeah, it's definitely a lot more of a watered down type of version of a Welch's grape juice. A bit of a chalky aftertaste. Like I said, that mostly comes from the energy drink ingredients, but it actually has a foamy kind of aftertaste. Like when you swallow it, it kind of feels like the carbonation is ex still expanding inside your mouth. Like the bubbles are still popping, which almost gives it a bubblegum type of aftertaste, like a grape gum. But yeah, I'm not getting real heavy grape off of it at all. Like I kind of remember Midnight Grape having a lot more of a grape impact. Like I said, more like a pitch black. At least that's what I remember. I'd have to go back and watch my Midnight Grape video to see my thoughts on it. But this is not jogging my memory of what Midnight Grape tasted like. If it is still the same recipe as Midnight Grape, I don't know why they don't still call it Midnight Grape rather than just calling it plain old grape. But if it is a new flavor, then it's a new flavor and we've tried it. So yeah, there's that. Kickstart Grape in the fancy new design cans. No more flags indicating any specific type of thing because the flags didn't make sense. The original ones had the green flag, then all of a sudden they had the dark ones that had the black flag and then the white ones. Which the dark ones were originally like dark berry stuff like a midnight grape or a black cherry or a blood orange type of thing. Um, I don't remember what all flavors they did there. And then the white flags were the ones made with coconut water. So I guess they sort of made sense. But at the end of the day, the new can designs kind of make sense too. Just stick with one overall design, change the color based on whatever flavor it is, and you can kind of leave it at that. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. Again, I wasn't sure exactly when they made the switch to this. If it was 2018, 2019, I don't remember. But I do remember it coming out before the next item I want to try. So that's why it's going in here in between products. Other than that, not much else to say about it. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Links, you know where they are if they're there. Ring the bell. Make sure you get notifications every time I post new content. Until next time, cheers.